person I loved admired her life was stolen and i feel i am alive because of the sacrifice she made powerful words from the survivors of a deadly shooting a difficult day in court for those recalling the night one person was killed several others hurt during a protest last year. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Dinn. Well, today, Benjamin Smith learned his fate in a Multnomah County courtroom. Jamie Seymour live downtown tonight with the very latest. And I know you also listened in on some of that emotional testimony today. Jeff, Liz, in a packed and emotional courtroom, a judge sentenced Benjamin Smith to life in prison for that shooting at Normandale Park last February. With every emotional statement made in court, the survivors of the February 2022 Normandale Park shooting that injured four and killed six-year-old June Knightley made their final statements before a judge sentenced Benjamin Smith to life in prison. One of the survivors, Doug, was shot in the neck and left paralyzed from the neck down. I was unable to speak because of my dependence on a ventilator. My voice itself was stolen. Last month, 44-year-old Smith pleaded guilty to all nine charges. Investigators initially reported Smith came out and yelled at the group that was at a racial justice protest before pulling out a handgun and firing it at several people before an armed bystander then shot him in the hip. Another survivor says that night continues to haunt her. I have relived that night countless times. I see it and smell it and feel it every single day. The weight of your bullets has not left my body. Deja Beck, one of the women shot that night, captured the entire shooting and aftermath, which she called an unfathomable nightmare on her motorcycle helmet camera. Gunshots, gunshots, gunshots. She also wanted to speak directly to the public. I believe I'm sitting here today because the world is full of people who look away. The world is full of people who do not push back. This week, the group going by the Normandale survivors reiterated that PPB's initial statement following the shooting was wrong. Smith was referred to as a homeowner before they changed the description to area resident, as well as describing the conflict with them as armed protesters, adding that none of them were armed and they were not protesting, only serving as safety support for a protest, among other claims. In a written statement, they said, quote, in the absence of overwhelming incriminating evidence, PBB's efforts, whether the result of incompetence, malice or both, could have resulted in the acquittal of the gunman. In response, PBB says some of the initial information they had turned out to be incorrect and they fixed it when aware, adding this is a good example of why they have to be so careful about what information is released initially about an incident. As a part of that plea deal reached earlier this year, Smith's life sentence would come with the possibility of requesting parole after 55 years. The 44-year-old would be in his late 90s by then. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.